Today, we talk about big green egg temperature control. Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm Captain Ron, your resident Fogo charcoal egg expert. And uh, we've covered a number of things with you already. We've covered the different ways to use the different Fogo charcoals. We've covered um, the five accessories, which size eggs should you get. We've covered lots of information. Now I wanna start teaching a little bit more about how to use the egg. We're gonna cover vent control and temperature control. Everybody says, oh, how do I control my temperatures? Where do I set my vents to? Relax, don't worry. We're gonna cover that all right here, right now. But if you want me to get started, you gotta subscribe and like. Remember, I'm working on my XL, my extra large egg, the love of my life here. But whatever egg you're working with, it's gonna work on that too. These settings I'm gonna show you, they'll work for the mini max, they'll work for the large, and if you happen to be so fortunate that you have the Gigundo Fat Boy 2XL Double Extra Large Big Green Egg, it'll even work on that one. They're all the same. But before we get to vent settings and everything like that, the first step we have to do, we gotta light some charcoal. So let's get the fires burning. In today's experiment, we're gonna be using Fogo's Eucalyptus Charcoal. <gasps> yes, I know. I caught it in the comments on my last video that a lot of people think it gives a different flavor or burns differently. Nonsense. It burns the same. It gives a light smoke flavor. It's actually really tasty. Don't be afraid of it. We're not koala bears. We're not eating this stuff. It's just used for smoke, okay? It gives a really good flavor. So we're going to use this for today's experiment because it's a nice, even burning uh, charcoal that we're going to be able to control the temperatures with real easy. Remember, we're here to learn about temperature control. Now let's get to the charcoal in this baby and get this fire lit. One important thing to do before we're going to talk about putting charcoal even in the grill is you always want to start with a clean egg, all right? So however you clean out your egg, we covered that in another video. We're going to make a full video on it. But make sure that you get all the ash out of here, okay? This is a big green egg ash tool. Uh, however you clean it out, some people use a shop vac. But you want to make sure and get all the ash out of here so that you're starting with a nice clean egg because for proper, proper temperature control, you need good airflow. And the airflow comes right in here. And if it's blocked with ashes, you're never going to get a good clean fire. Whether you're cooking direct, indirect, it doesn't matter. You want to have a good bed of charcoals in there. Now, if you noticed, I poured some of the new stuff on top of the charcoal from my last cook. There's nothing wrong with that. You just shut the vents down when you're done cooking and it'll automatically extinguish that charcoal and you have it to use for next time. Little shake of the ash basket and you're ready to go. So I like to start with a nice full <coughs> basket of charcoal, excuse me. And um, this way it gives a nice even burn. You always have enough fuel to maintain your temperature for long periods of time. This filled up the way that I have it will burn for 20 hours like this and cook pork butts, briskets, whatever you want to cook, long term or short. Now this is one of the things that I love about Fogo charcoal. Check out the size of these pieces in here. You want to cook low and slow, this is what you want. You can tell that's not some briquette. That is a real piece of wood. These are real wood from real trees. It's the wood that makes the food taste good. For today's video, we're going to be using some Fogo fire starters inside of our Blazeball. Blazer Ball is a great little cage. We, it's available on our website. The link is in the description down below. Now, we just got the charcoal lit, so now we need to start addressing our vent settings. The first setting we're gonna do is the vent setting on the bottom to show what we do when we're letting it build up the fire and get our heat built up. So the first thing we do is we keep this all the way open and we keep our vent screen closed. This should always stay closed. It's a safety feature. It prevents any sparks or ashes from coming out the front of the egg. Now we just got our charcoal lit. And the reason that we're keeping the top open and the bottom vent wide open, fire breathes oxygen. It needs oxygen to breathe. So in order for the fire to build, it needs as much air as possible. We're letting the air come from the top and we're letting the air come in from the bottom and come up through and keep that fire going and getting up, built up to a nice temperature. We're gonna let that leave it open for about five or 10 minutes. This is when you wanna put either your expander or your convector in and let this heat up with your egg. Otherwise, you're gonna get it to temperature, you're gonna put this cold piece in there and it's gonna cool everything down and just take that much longer to get back to temperature. So if you heat this up with the egg, you're gonna be a lot better off. But for today's example, we're not gonna cook indirect. I just wanna show you how to control the temperatures. So we're gonna leave that out. But this is now when you shut it. You got a decent fire burning, now is when you shut it and you open up your top vent all the way. Now, what I wanna show you is a shooting temperature of 250 degrees. That's a good smoking temperature all around. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it go. It's at 200 already. At about 225, I'm gonna start shutting down the bottom vent. First, I'm gonna show you how to control the temperature with the bottom vent. 
Now I'm working with the new top on the Big Green Egg called the Regulator. To me, this is like one of the best things that's ever come along for Big Green Egg. You may be working with their old Daisy wheel, okay? So if you want to have it fully open, you have, just all you have to do is look where the N is on Big Green Egg, line a little tab up with that N right there, and your holes are going to be all the way open. If you have a smokeware cap like this, you just simply turn it so that the vents are all the way open. Same thing. You can even take this top off and let it go like that until you start getting the temperature. And then just put it back on and adjust your vents from there. We've been holding steady at 250 for about 15 minutes now. I wanted to make sure it was holding steady, not changing, not going up or down and fluctuating. People with gas grills, it takes them longer to heat up than that. Charcoal rules. There's two schools of thought on vent flow and airflow. I like to control mine like this. The other school of thought, I'm going to show you how to do it, is you actually keep this vent way open, but you close it with the top one. You're controlling your temperature with different settings on the top vent. This is going to give you a little bit smokier flavored foods. If you like your smoky, that's probably how you do it. I want to know how you control your vents. Do you use a top vent or the bottom vent to control your temperatures? Let me know in the comments below. I really want to know. That's about where you want your vent settings for 250 when you're opening it, when you're controlling your temperatures with the top vent. You notice one thing about this top tube? It's got this handy little gadget. Now this is on here sideways, but I happen to live here and I have a covered porch. If you don't have a covered porch and you have to cook outside, this is a rain cap and it prevents any rain from getting down in there and putting out your fire or cooling things down. It's a great little accessory for the big green egg. Now that's 250 degrees. That's mostly for indirect cooking, for smoking your meats, long-term cooks. That's where you want it. But you want to make pizza, you want to cook something real hot, you want to sear a steak at six, 700 degrees. Very simple. Just do this, open, open. Remember those old TV commercials? Open, open, open. Just open those vents, let this thing rock. If you really want to get it going hot, you can even open the top for a while and let the flames go. Just take a look inside of here. I want you to see something. 250 degrees, there's hardly any coal burning. It's just burning a little fire right in the center, right there. So that's how Fogo charcoal can burn for 20, 24 hours in this thing without going out and you'll still have some left over. I know, I've done it. Check this out. Now that's a fire. Looks good, right? All right, so now we're cooking up here. It's, it just cooled off a touch because I opened it, but it's at 500 degrees right now. Now, temperature control, okay? You got your vents here. You got, you, can, you know, we, we've gone over how to control it using the vents. But let's say you open this up and you walk away and all of a sudden you come back, you want it 350 and it's at 500. How do you cool it down? Sure, you close this, you close this, it's gonna cool it down, but it's gonna take a long time to do it. So instead of that, you can leave these open, all right? And you can see we're at 500 degrees right on the nose right there. Take it, and this is going to be counterintuitive to anything we've ever learned. You pour more charcoal on top of it. Actually pour more charcoal right on top of the fire. Shut it down. Close your vents almost all the way. Okay? And you'll see in a couple of minutes, this thing's going to be down around 400, maybe 350 degrees. But what happens is that when you put more charcoal on top, it actually like dampers out the fire a little bit, snuffs it out a little bit. So it's the quickest possible way to cool down your temperatures. Now you have to get back into your vent control after that, but that's a pro tip for you that not a lot of people know how to do. So if you want to cool down your fire quickly, add more charcoal. If you're one of those people that are still a little bit unsure and still nervous, don't be afraid. You're not alone. A lot of people get really um, worried about the con controlling the temperatures and the vents. How do I do it? There's other ways that are easy solution too. This is called the Egg Genius made by Big Green Egg. There's a company called Flame Boss that makes one. What you do is you put this right in here and this plugs right in. It'll go Wi-Fi. You can set it to what temperature you want it to and you can just set it and forget it. It's a beautiful thing. A lot of people like to do this. If they're gonna smoke a brisket overnight or something like that, you put this in, you go to bed, you sleep like a baby. You wake up, your, your, your egg is still at 250 degrees or whatever temperature you set it at. And that folks is vent and temperature control on your Big Green Egg. Remember, whatever size egg you're working with, all these same tips and tricks will work on your size egg as well, also. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. My Instagram is CaptainRon302. Facebook is Big Green Eggers of South Florida. Feel free to hit me up. But listen, give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up here, okay? Also, we work off of comments. Let us know what you're enjoying about these videos, okay? My last point I want to touch on is that I've made a playlist of all the Big Green Egg videos we've been making. It's in a playlist right here. So if you just click on that, you can see all the different videos that we have to offer that we've talked about big green egg stuff. So remember, get out and grill, and we will see you the next time on the Fogo Life.